Now tell me who can stop me, I'm in the zone Competition's none in a league of my own All about the W, I'ma bring it home When it's over with, I'ma be the king of the throne Now who can stop me, I'm in the zone Competition's none in a league of my own All about the W, I'ma bring it home When it's over with, I'ma be the king of the throne what is up viewers, trolls, and haters? This is Pal here, and today I want to talk about confidence. But before I do that, I want to talk about the gameplay. And this gameplay is by Tryhard Dexter, and I hope you guys check him out. This is Sound Spaz MOAB on uh, the map Resistance, and I hope you guys check him out. And if you guys don't have any gameplays you can use, you can ask him. He's a really chill, nice guy. He makes great uh, videos and stuff, and I really hope you guys check him out again. Annotation buff link in the description. So anyway, I want to talk about confidence, and this topic arose when um, I was on uh, Yaush, the Yaush uh, threads, and I posted a thread on Yaush like a long time ago. It was back uh, about a week and a half ago when I had 240 subs, and I wrote that on my thing. And pretty much the, the title of the thread was... 240 subs, amazing commentary, come check me out, or whatever. And, um, this guy responded to my, uh, thread about a day ago, and he was saying that, like, I had in the, in the description that I make great quality content and stuff, and I was just, you know, putting all this catchy stuff, and he called me, um, full of myself. And, um, this led me on a topic of confidence, and, uh, pretty much, I'm gonna summarize what he said. He said I was full of myself for thinking that I make great quality content, and that I'm an amazing commentator. And I put amazing up there to, you know, it's a catchy title. That's purely why I did it up there. But I think, I believe I make great quality content. That's why I put it there. So anyway, um, I'm going to show you guys or I'll read you guys what I responded to him. It, just viva confidence. I responded in other ways, but here's my confidence uh, paragraph. Okay, I said, I would like to see one of your threads. You're trying to make me off as an egotistical person, but in reality, you have unreasonable expectations for people. Do you expect me to say, hey guys, I make commentaries. I don't know if they're good, but that's up for decision, and I believe some people watch them. I don't think you understand that people need confidence in what they do. For example, for example, girls like confidence. You don't have to be conceited, but you need to have confidence. If you don't have any confidence in yourself, then the girl will be turned off or put in an awkward position. I'm not trying to make a personal bash, but a personal personal bash. But if you have gone out of enough girls, you would also know this. Even though YouTube isn't the, isn't the same as girls, the principle still applies nevertheless. And that's why I wrote to him. And I think that carries a lot of truth behind it because if you're not if you're not confident in what you do, it's like I, I'm gonna go through the levels of confidence. There's low confidence, normal confidence, and high confidence. I'm gonna just start off with the low confidence right away since um the, like you know I'm trying to fit the, fit this all into the commentary. So low confidence is pretty much if you make YouTube and you're not confident in yourself, that it's low confidence. You're timid, you're shy, you're not sure, and you ex you you try to draw people. You try to have like pretty much you don't have your own opinions. They're all your opinions are based off the people that watch and I understand subs are important they're your opinions all my subs opinions are important I take all that in consideration if you don't like my commentaries tell me why I'll take it into consideration I may not believe that you're correct I may not believe you know you're right but I'll take it into consideration I try to look through your eyes but at the same time if you're not confident in yourself you can't believe that you make great quality content it's just it's not going to do it for you it's there's always trolls and haters out there. That's why I have my intro. What's up, viewers, trolls and haters? This is Pat here. You know, I have trolls and haters. And if you let those guys get to you because you have low confidence, because if you have low confidence, they can just smell that out of you. And if you don't have confidence in your video making skills and you don't think you make good quality content yourself, if you don't believe it, see, if you don't believe it, nobody's going to believe it. End of, end of story. I don't care who you are. If you don't believe it, you know, eventually you're going to be corrupted and you're not going to be able to make good content. And the only person you need to satisfy is yourself. You're making it not like you're making it for the for the viewers and the subscribers and stuff but if you're not confident in what you make then you shouldn't post it that's it period so anyway i want to go on to high confidence and what high confidence is i know i'm skipping normal but i'll save that for later what high confidence is is pretty much being conceited egotistical boastful and what he said um you know uh full of yourself and it like there's, it's never good to be uh, conceited or overconfident, and you you know the reason why. Oh, I'm gonna tell you the reason why. Because if you're overconfident, it, be, it you just come off as egotistical person. You can't say I'm the best commentary in the world, best commentary on YouTube. Everybody should subscribe to me. I'm the best in the world. If you're not subscribed, you're missing out on the best quality content that YouTube has ever known. That is that is a total 
arrogant and conceited statement. And it's just, like, you can't say that you're the best at something that's ir immeasurable. I mean, Usain Bolt can say he's the best at the 100-meter uh, dash. Yes, because it's measurable. He is the best. Like, I, I mean, the, the Olympics are coming up. We will see if he's still the best. But you can't say that you're the best at something that's immeasurable. YouTube has a bunch of different aspects and you can't measure it you can't say that you're the best and you shouldn't that you shouldn't say you're the best at anything because at your age you're really 99.99999% uh, you're not the best at whatever you say you are and until you uh, until you prove it to me and have like a plaque uh, you're not and that's what I'm just going to say and so when you're over when you're overconfident that that just leads to your demise because you know what you're too confident to even take in the reviews of other people like if my subscriber says I don't like this part of your commentary and you know if I think he's right you know good he's right he just improved my commentary like I I love constructive criticism I just love it and so uh, this commentary is uh, the gameplay is wrapping to an end but I want to talk about normal confidence normal confidence is the confidence that you need. It's confidence enough to know that you make great quality content, but at the same time, you know that your commentaries aren't perfect. And if your commentaries aren't perfect, you can take in constructive criticism from your subs. And I just love doing that because I'm that right amount of confidence and everybody should be. So please take this into consideration. And I love you all you guys. So as always, stay happy in Pal Town. Peace. I'm in this zone. Hey. The competition way Tell them let's get it on let's go. My hustle game crazy And I'ma finish strong You threw up so many bricks You probably could build a home, build a home. <laughs> I done came a long way This is what the grind make Everybody want to shine Don't know what the shine take nah. You mad that I'm playing? Call it sideline Hey, it ain't over till it's over Buzz up, be the mind